Hardy Tartar bitches, it's your boy, Deadhead the Motherfucking Zombie, back up in this bitch with a quick album review of ABK's Free Lunch Freestyles album. Full reservation. I'm very sure, very, very fucking sure I made an unboxing of this. Since there's not much to the packaging, I, I know I made a fucking un unboxing video, but it got lost, oh well. Um, as long as I already have the fucking CD, fuck it, you know. Now, back last year, every month of 2019, ABK was dropping, you know, freestyles for the month called Free Lunch Freestyles. <laughs> so, after the year, uh, was over, or, yeah, it was going from, like, <clears throat> December going into fucking January and shit around there uh, he announced that he was gonna be putting together a fucking CD of the shit I kinda figured he would 12 freestyles 12 tracks easy money album done now this album it was actually pretty cheap it was 7 bucks for the base price and I think all around with shipping it costed me 9 10 bucks around there uh, it comes in a slim case mine's a little fucked up as you guys see there's the disc. It's a little upside down. There you go. You know, some simple. Um, there's the insert. Oh, well, the back of the sleeve. It was all recorded at the Native World Sweat Lodge Freestyle by ABK. Extra feature freestyles by Mr. YUG and Flagrant. Those guys killed it. All tracks produced by DJ Hazy. Now, if I do recall correctly, there was also an unreleased bonus freestyle. By the way, um, the production, <coughs> fucking smoke went up my nose. Um, the the production of this project, pretty fucking solid, dude. I'm pretty sure it was DJ Hazy who produced Tampon Juice. Where's my case ain't fucked up? Maybe I'm just re nope. Yeah, it is a little fucked up. The top's busted off. Got a little fucked up in the move. Y if you want, you can go watch that vlog. You know, it's called the Big Move. It's on my channel. If I, if I can fix this real quick. Anyways, um, about this album. The, I mean, it's all right. It clocks in at. On my iPod, it says 35 fucking minutes on it. You know, it's like a nice, easy, quick fucking bump. I just got done fucking going through it. This has been in kind of... It hasn't really been too heavy in the rotation because there ha there's been a pretty, you know, consistent amount of fucking work in the underground that's been released and just... But, um... Yeah, I mean... Okay, um, okay, first, first of all, the fucking mixing is wonky. M maybe it's the fucking earbuds I have, I have, well, since my skull candies finally fucking died on me on, I think, two years of having them. They finally died on me a few weeks ago. So I was just gonna say fuck it and go buy myself some fucking earbuds while I still had it. A scrap of money left. Yeah, I did, thank God, they're only six bucks. And they actually do not sound bad. But, the fucking... Okay, like, the whole mixing and mastering is fucking wonky as shit. And there's freestyles on here that I don't care too much for, but I don't hate. And, by the way, the track listing from tracks 2 to 13, I'm just going to count as, you know... January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You know, blah, blah. There is an intro to it. That's why I said tracks 2 to 13. And the extra unreleased freestyle is track 14. I will tell you my motherfucking favorites, though. It has to be uh, track 3, track 7, and the, and the ones that Flagrant and Mr. Y... Ijira, and they fucking killed the shit. 
They did. I'm actually a really big fan of Flagrant. I'm not sure if he had any albums. I didn't look too deeply when uh, the Warrior spot was still active. Um, at the time I'm recording this, it's not. But once it is, I'm going to fucking try to pick me up some fucking flagrant stuff, dude. He's he's dope. And some Mr. Y, UG, I believe he's related to the ROC. I'm not sure if he's like his brother or his cousin or something like that. But, uh, yeah, dude, he's, he's fucking, he killed his shit. I was just going, mm-hmm, yeah, rock that shit, man. Dude, he killed his fucking freestyle talent. Must run in that fucking family or some shit. But, okay, like, giving this a playthrough, as I've said, the mixing and mastering is a little wonky. But I know my favorites. I do skip over a couple. Well, a few tracks. But, I don't hate them. When it comes to ABK, I don't hate any of his fucking albums. I know a lot of people hate Road Fools and fucking Mudface. My favorite ABK album right here. Tampon Juice. Second or third, dude. Easy. This is the uh, limited edition uh, cover, which I think suits it a little better than a tampon going into a shot glass. <laughs> Honestly. But, um, yeah, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. I don't hate it, but when it goes back up, it is pretty cheap. So I do suggest giving it a bump. If you want to hear that extra unreleased freestyle, go ahead. You know? Um, to me, it's it's alright, you know? Um, I can't wait for him to release a new album, though. And I mean a new actual album. I know he dropped, you know, the, the Features albums and Drive-By. I think I already did a review on Drive-By. You know, et cetera, et cetera. Also, there's a review coming out for the Have Nots because me and Juggle Barber both have copies and he still needs to send me his video for the Graveyard Blues review. Homie, if you're watching this, send me that video soon so we can get that bitch up. And then we got to do our Have Nots review. I have bumped that EP actually quite a few times because I'm a, I'm a big Big Hoodoo fan too. And I love Drive By. 2019 was ABK's year, dude. He fucking slayed that shit. I'm just glad he dropped an actual new album. But uh, with that all being said, it's your boy Deadhead the Zombie. I'm sorry I've been slacking on the videos, but I think it's only been a week since I dreamt my last one. And I'm trying not to be a lazy cunt because it's almost fucking autumn, fall. And I'm going to be cranking up videos a little more often now. But I did want to get this review done. <laughs> Smoking up fucking like rollies for so long. I almost forgot. What? New ports were like, and I've been smoking on fucking rollies for the past month. These, these are my babies. But with that being out of the way, um, that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna check the release date for tampon juice since I did a you know, a video saying one year later to uh, Fearless Fred Fury. Um, this is going to be over a year later for Tampon Juice if I feel like doing a video. Um, yeah, so I've also actually, uh, one reason I can't say why I've been slacking on videos besides me being a lazy cunt is uh, I've been working on music. And I got quite some good flavor for y'all. Arrow in the knee went from an EP to an LP. And uh, I'm not going to change the cover because I love the cover. That and I really don't feel like fucking changing it back up to something that I already found pretty much perfect for the name Arrow in the knee. But um, yeah. So all in all, this video is going, holy shit, 10 minutes. Sorry. I doubt... 
many people will watch this far, but peace.